Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today, we are in the kitchen again and I am in here getting ready to can some pears. That's right. So if you all wanna can some pears with me, go ahead and grab your pears. Go ahead and get them peeled <laughs> because my pears are already peeled and we are gonna get this show on the road. All right, y'all, so this is what you're gonna need. The way that I am doing this works for me. I make it, I try to make this as simple as possible. I got too much to do to be doing complicated all the time, okay? So now, what I have here is some lemon juice. On the floor, I have a uh, five gallon bucket, food grade, BPA free, five gallon bucket, okay? And I fill my bucket halfway. <laughs> Hey boy, it's just me talking. Go back to sleep. I fill my bucket halfway with water, okay? And I added a full cup of the lemon juice. And what that does, it helps to preserve the pears while I peel them. It keeps them from turning all ugly and brown, you know, just sitting in regular water. Now, they're... Now, you can use something like, <laughs> it gets on my nerve. You can use something like fruit fresh or ball has something, I think that's what it is that you can use to put in your fruit to preserve the color, okay? But I find that unnecessary. I use lemon juice all the time when I'm canning. So I just use my lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Now, and I'll show you, look at this. These pears have been sitting in this water this entire time while I peel other pears. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So, look at there. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I'm going to leave this bucket. This bucket is too heavy for me to pick it up and show you. But... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a couple out at a time and I'm gonna go ahead and get them cored and put into my syrup that I have on the stove. Now I'm doing a really, 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 really light syrup. If you want to do a heavier syrup, you can, okay? Get that ball book guide to canning and you can do light syrups, extra lights, or really heavy, but I'm doing an extra light syrup and that only calls for five and three quarter cups of water and one and a half cups of sugar that's it five and three quarter cups of water one and a half cups of sugar and i put that in my pot right here whisked it together brought it up to a boil it boiled for maybe a minute i turned the fire off and i let it and it's just sitting there waiting for me now so what i'm gonna do is one at a time, peel my pears, core my pears, peel them, drop them in that syrup, and then I'm gonna heat that up for five minutes because I just simply want the pears to heat up all the way through the pear, okay? No cold spots, all the way through the pear. That'll take about five minutes. We're gonna get them in the jars. I'm doing quart size jars because they're pears. I don't want to do itty bitty jars. I'll be all day. So quart size jars of pears plus that's one of my favorite fruits. So I could probably eat a quart of pears all by my lonesome. Just telling you the truth. All right, y'all. All right. So what I'm going to do is grab a pear or two. I'm going to do two at a time just so they're not sitting up here getting ready to start browning. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab two out of the water, give them a shake, get them up on the counter. Now, I'm going to cut them in half. I'm gonna use a spoon to core these, okay? And I'm gonna try to move quickly, you all, because I don't want my pears to start turning brown, okay? And then, as you, you know, I'm just using a spoon. If you have a core, you can use a core. And then I just pull it out 
and sometimes the stem will slide out with it. If it don't, you can just grab your knife and just cut the stem out, okay? And then, once I cut that, I'm gonna slice these into those cute little halves, okay? And keep it moving. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? So now, we're gonna go ahead and get these babies all poured up. See how I pulled out the stem, but it left an itty bitty piece? I'm gonna go ahead and just take my little knife, cut that little part out. Yay, the propane company's here. They would come right in the middle of me cutting. Okay. I'll be there in just a second. I got one more I got to do. Appreciate y'all coming though, but I got one more I got to do. Y'all, it's, it's time for us to get some propane. We haven't had propane out here in Jax. We haven't had to get propane since the uh, first week of April. And we are the middle of July. You don't need a lot of propane in the summer. Not unless you do a ton of canning. Like we do. Get these babies sliced. I'm coming. Our propane folks are some good people too, y'all. I love our propane people. They are awesome. All right, cut that core out, the rest of it. If y'all are doing this with me, y'all keep going coring, okay? I got to deal with the propane people. <laughs> I got to deal with the propane folks. Y'all, I'll be right back. I am back. Propane people are done. Getting my propane out to me. All right, y'all, so I am going to wrap up coring these pears. Now, what I'm going to do now is I have my pot over here, right here on the stove. I'm just going to take these and put these down in this pot, okay? I have my simple syrup in this pot, okay? Simple syrup is in the pot, and I'm putting about six pears in at a time, maybe seven. And what that is going to do, that should give me enough pears for one jar, okay? Yeah, that should give me enough pears for one jar, for one quart size jar, and then I can move on to the next batch. Some of my pears are different sizes, so it may be six pears, it may be seven, but in any case, that's what I'm doing, getting them all in, okay? And I'm coring, and just a coring. Hope y'all can see, I know I'm moving fast because I have a ton of things to can today, but this is real simple. This is very, very simple, you all. I'm just peeling, coring. Come on. And slicing them in my bowl. And then in the pot of water they go. All right, so now, I, need I hope y'all can see how easy this is. I'm literally just slicing these pears, just making some cute little slices and then pulling out the core with my spoon and the piece that doesn't come out 
I just take my real sharp little paring knife here and just make that slit right around it and underneath it. Pull it right on out. Then I cut this baby into cute little slices. Okay, now I am just going to pour these into my light syrup and just make sure that syrup covers them. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back up to a medium heat. I just want to get these heated all the way through. So I'm gonna start a timer on these for five minutes, okay? And because I only have a small batch of light syrup here, a real small batch, then I have to do this in batches. I just can't overload the pot with pears. I have to leave enough liquid in here so that the pears will heat all the way through. And that will take about five minutes, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna leave that there, just mashing them down in the, in the uh, light syrup. And these are gonna sit here for five minutes, nothing else fancy to do. Five minutes and then out they will come and then we will get them into our jars. Oops. Now I've already done one jar already, as you can see, nice and packed. And I got it down in my water bath canner. And so once all of the, the jars are filled, then we'll be ready to move on. So you all stay tuned. Five minutes on the clock. And while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my next batch. All right, I'm almost out of time. That's my five minutes. All right, let's get them out and get them in the jar. hot jars out of that water bath canner. Turn off my timer. And we're going to get these babies jarred up. Come closer. All right, y'all. So now we're getting them in the jars. I know somebody may ask, what kind of peaches are those? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. These peaches, these, not peaches, these are pears. Count that down just a bit. Grab my little thingamajiggy, and mash those on down in there a little bit. All right. Now they are kind of on the soft side too. I will say that, they're a little bit softer. Maybe because, you know, maybe because they uh, have been sitting for a little bit in the box I had them in, because I didn't get around to canning them. As soon as I got them, I'm going to go ahead and debubble and tap that back down. Make sure that we get a one inch headspace on this jar, okay? And now we're back at a one inch headspace. I'm going to grab my clean towel and I am going to wipe the rim of my jar, making sure there's nothing there to prevent my jar from sealing. I'm gonna grab me a lid, pop that on, 
grab a band. Fingertip tight goes the band. There we go. In the, in the canner is going. Now, so far, I have four quarts in the jar, okay? I'm going to take my other jar out of the canner because I have a few pears left in the pot. And I don't want those to turn into mush. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out and get those ladled into my jar. Or get those put into the jar. Now, now my next batch is going in. this down in the bottom to keep that liquid from splashing back up on me y'all that's why I do that it just kind of catches it so I'm gonna mash that back down in there keep my fire down on a medium low and make sure all of those are mashed down in the pot and then sit that there now I'm gonna start on my next batch getting them cut up and getting them ready for the light syrup. All right, y'all, I'm almost out of time. <laughs> My timer is about to go off. Oops. I don't know if this is gonna be enough to fill that quart jar or not, but I'm sure hoping so. I think it may be enough to fill at least one more. All right, let's get those out. Okay. Get these in the jar. to do one more quart. I sure believe I will. I believe I will. Put on my Kermit the Frog. Well, not quite Kermit, is it? <laughs> All right. Now, if you wanted to spice these, you could, right? If you have a spice mix, you know, if you wanted to do a pumpkin pie spice, you can do that. If you wanted to do just a regular um, cinnamon uh, type of a pear, you could do that as well. But I'm just doing straight pears in the simple syrup. Now remember, we're leaving a one inch head space on these. And I'm going to debubble. All right. I'm going to grab my towel. Wipe my rim. Now, grab me a lid. Get this on fingertip tight with my band and inside of the canner it's going now let me get the water out of this one first and sit that one over here and move this one in now my heat is on low, keeping the water hot under my canner, but now I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up to high because I'm about to start my last batch right here. So I wanna go ahead and get this heated up. And I'm putting the lid on to seal in the heat. I have a few more pears in here that I'm going to take out and get them in the jar. that 
to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my last batch of pears. The last little bit I have is going in. Five minutes on the clock. And then we're gonna come back after that five minutes and get them added to this jar right here. And they should fill this jar all the way up, giving us a nice batch of canned pears. It's been five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead now and get these little Man, now I gotta go wash it. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so now I can get these ladled out. And just in case y'all were wondering, my little mat right here that I sometimes put my utensils on is clean, okay? Everything is clean. <laughs> Don't play that. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be pushing it. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I just don't think I'm going to get there. In fact, I know I'm not. Now I got to grab that pear I was saving to eat. Just to get this jar filled up. I was saving that pear for me. But now I got to get it and use it. Just so my jar don't suffer. Can't have nothing. <laughs> All right, so I added one more pair to this pot here. And I think that may have done it. I'm gonna go ahead and debubble this. And I'm at one inch head space. I'm gonna grab my towel and wipe my rims. If y'all haven't seen that video on about why it's important to debubble your jar, why it's important to wipe your rims of your jars, you don't want to fail seal. There's so many other reasons why you don't, you know, they could, there's so many other things that could cause a fail seal, but this is certainly one of them, okay? Grab me a band. And my water is heating up in my water bath canner already. Ooh, that's hot. Let me get a better ring. There we go. And that's on fingertip tight. And now we're gonna get this in the canner. Woo! Okay, I have six quarts of pears in the canner. You see how high the water is. The water needs to cover the tops of these jars by at least an inch, okay? So now I have all of the jars in. I'm gonna go ahead and get my lid on. And this needs to come up to a rolling boil before we will start our timer. I am processing quarts for 25 minutes. If you were processing pints, you would process them for 20 minutes. All right, so we will be back in 25 minutes and we will take our quartz out of the canner. Meantime, between time, I got a sink full of green beans that I need to start washing and snapping so I can get them in that pressure canner over there because I got lots of canning to do. All right, it's been 25 minutes. I'm gonna turn the fire off, turn the timer off, and these have to sit for five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna come back and take those out of the canner, okay? Five minutes because we wanna let the water settle in the canner, all right? Because it's still bubbling. We wanna let that settle. Take the lid off. That's gonna help it to settle, and then we'll be back in five minutes, okay? All right. It's been five minutes. Let's get them out. And they are looking good. This 
this one was the jar that I didn't fill all the way up, so it's got some float action going. <laughs> But they will settle as the jars cool down. All right, that's six jars, six quarts of pears. Let's look at them. All right, y'all, that's my six quarts of pears canned up and ready to be put on the shelf in a light, simple syrup. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is going to do it for today. That is going to do it for canning up my six quarts of pears. I'm so excited. I love pears, my favorite fruit. I'm hoping to be able to get some more. I'm going to check and see with them and see if they, hey, y'all got some more of them pear. But I'm going to see, okay? So, y'all, that's going to do it for today. Pears, easily canned. Voila. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today. If you like the video, like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.